all right guys so a few days ago trump came out and strongly suggested that he wanted to declassify everything and in my mind i was like yes trump yes yes president trump let's go declassify everything and the first thing that i want to know is about the galactic federation <laughs> but you know one thing that we all can agree upon which the very conservative people and very liberal people agree upon is pardoning snowden and assange and a lot of the whistleblowers that blew the lid on nsa spying and all the corrupt things that was going on with the u.s government now this is bipartisan in my opinion the only people who do not want this is the establishment but the problem is is that even when the populist right and the progressive left agree on something the progressive left always has to ruin it but before we get in that my name is greg foreman and you're watching a black concerted perspective make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black concerted perspective aka a leftist worst nightmare you can also follow me on twitter at g foreman bcp let's get it all right guys so we are getting some traction here from representatives congressmen politicians all over who are saying less pardon snowden and in the past i did a video about tulsi gabbard coming out and saying president trump less pardon snowden less pardon julian assange and this was right after uh president trump had pardoned um michael flynn right before thanksgiving so glenn greenwald came out on twitter and was like hey president trump you should follow through on pardoning edward snowden and he linked this to a video that trump had talked about back in august in terms of pardoning snowden and let's take a listen to this video in terms of what trump said do you, want, do you want to give Edward Snowden a pardon and bring him back? You, you once suggested that Well, I'm going to look at it. I mean, I'm not that aware of the Snowden situation, but I'm going to start looking at it. There are many, many people. It seems to be a split decision. There are many people think that uh, he should be somehow treated differently, and other people think he did very bad things. And I'm going to take a very good look at it, okay? I mean, I, I've, I've seen people that are very conservative and very liberal and they agree on the same issue they agree both ways uh i'm going to take a look at that very strongly edward snowden yeah please the president is right guys people that are very conservative and very liberal both agree on this issue and glenn greenwall even dropped some names he said everyone from Rand paul matt gates tulsi gabbard to the aclu bernie sanders and the new york times have advocated for this and the only ones uh, who are angry would be Brennan, Clapper, Comey, and Susan Rice. You notice all those names right there? They're all establishment politicians, guys. The establishment does not want these people, who some of us would consider to be American patriots, to be pardoned for blowing the lid on the deep state. I mean, look no further than a Cheney. Liz Cheney had tweeted in response to this, Edward Snowden is a traitor. He is responsible for the largest and most damaging release of classified info in U.S. history. He handed over U.S. secrets to Russia and Chinese intelligence, putting our troops and nation at risk. Parting him would be unconscionable. And Matt Gates, who, you know, been getting some brownie points, had snapped back at her and basically said, the Cheney ideology of supporting forever wars puts more troops at risk than Snowden ever did again guys there you have it you see it this is stuff that the progressive left and the populist right can both agree upon this is something that we both want that we've both been asking for but the people that are stopping it is the establishment and i believe that president trump if he pulls the trigger on this there will be a slap in the face directly to the establishment as a response to i guess their inability to take his election meddling claims seriously so to me it's a win-win and if president trump does leave the white house come january guys i've been keeping up with president trump and his activities in the background this whole time and i'm telling you without a doubt 
I think he's running in 2024. Or at the very least, it will be somebody that he endorses. I mean, this man has raised so much money, right, the past month. And I really do believe that that's what he's gearing up for um, in a worst case scenario. And I believe that if he walks out of the door, pardoning Assange or um, Edward Snowden, that could play in his favor very, very, very well going into 2024, um, potentially with some people on the progressive left and definitely the populist right. So I think it's a good political move for Trump and it would solidify him as somebody that is anti deep state. Right. And that's something that we all believe about President Trump. And that's why a lot of people support him. They support him because they believe he's against the establishment. A move like this would solidify that in a lot of our minds. Now, what's really stopping us from coming together on this issue is the fact that some people are just too woke. So the ACLU came out um, and talked about pardoning Assange and uh, supporting that. But they got a lot of blowback on Twitter as the wokey wokes, woke revolutionary super liberals came out and basically called it sexist because reality winner, who is also another uh, whistleblower who basically almost tried to do what um, Edward Snowden did. She is currently locked up for whistleblowing and exposing some information and in regarding Russian uh, election interference back in 2016 slash 2017 the super woke revolutionaries <laughs> some of these people are saying stuff like it's important to note that snowden is well known simply because he's a man sexism has obviously played a role in preventing reality with his case from being given the same type of focus slash publicity uh well i think that he might be compromised this point you know how about focus on a less famous woman and pass on the casual sexism here yeah Free reality winner, not their only sexist stance. You keep doubling and tripling down on your initial mistake of believing his lies about having leaked info as a whistleblower. He was a disgruntled contractor who felt underappreciated, so he betrayed America. If you weren't so sexist, you work to free reality winner instead. Reality winners in prison. How about pardoning her before Snowden? Reality winner deserves a part and more. She did the right thing and got thrown in prison. Snowden, as far as I know, isn't in a prison cell. Bruh. And this is why we cannot have nice things. Because these super woke revolutionaries think that their social justice crusade comes before what two opposite sides of the political spectrum can both agree on. They always do this, right? When we almost come to an agreement on something they muddy up the waters and have to throw in sexism you have to make a woman get pardoned first before a man and they just mess it up man they just mess it up like come on like let's just get one of these done and then we can look at somebody else okay because it seems like to me that president trump is strongly considered he's looking more into it and that it may be something that he does you know, if he's on his way out of the door and it's something that will appease both sides. But what you do when you try to throw in a sexism car is that you muddy up the waters and you take the focus off of something that everybody can agree on. Right. This is, should be a shut and close case. Let's get it done. President Trump is the man for the job. Let's just do it. Right. He, he does Snowden. OK, then we can talk about reality winner. Right. Which. <laughs> She has a really funny name, but we can talk about her after that. And honestly, for her, worst case scenario, she's scheduled to get out of prison in 2021 anyway, so she doesn't even have that much time left. Snowden, on the other hand, can't even come back to the country, right? If he comes back to the United States as of right now, <laughs> they throwing this man in jail, no doubt. So she can wait a little bit. Edward Snowden, on the other hand, he may not ever be able to step foot back in the U.S. Him, along with Julian Assange, are the ones that kind of were the first dominoes to kind of set all these leaks into action and to expose the corruption of the government to the American people. So if we can get a big fish, either Julian Assange or Edward Snowden, there will be a win for us. Then we might better look at somebody like Reality Warner. But as of right now, leftists, 
get on board with the program stop muddying up the waters because you want to be so woke right but anyways let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black concerted perspective peace